<laughs> Hi friends. Hey y'all. What's going on? I'm Julie. I'm Robin. We have on the pot in Salina, Kansas. Mm -hmm. And we're doing a fun project with you today. This can't one. wait. Look, we're gonna do this little watering can. Wouldn't it be cute for Mother's Day gifts? Yes. Like I think it'd be adorable for Mother's Day gifts. Or just for your spring, spring gatherings. Mm -hmm. We're on sweatshirts today because it's still cold at our house, but like and chilly. It's gonna get better. It's yeah. gonna be spring soon. It we're is. so excited. So we're preparing. Yeah. So we're gonna walk you through this step-by-step -step today. Mm -hmm. um, if you have questions, put them down in the comments and we'll answer them and all that fun stuff. It's gonna be cool. Fun. Oh, and we'll, um, we'll, we'll get the templates and all that stuff yeah. too. Yeah, so we'll worry. have all that for you. We'll get it set. Posted. Yay, okay, cool. Um, stay tuned, here it comes. Okay, you guys, we're gonna paint this plate today. We have the patterns. I have printed these on NCR paper or clay carbon paper. Um, we bought this from Studio Stuff, pyopstudiostuff.com. Um, I love it because it says this side up, so you know which way to put it in your printer. But you could also trace this onto oh, like um, tissue paper. Tissue, pa tissue yeah, paper, yeah. You could absolutely do that as yeah. well. Okay. But this is what we're going to do today. And I, I think that I have made a genius plan for how to do this. So... We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this over here. I'll take Thank that. you, Robin. You're welcome. Okay, so we're gonna trace this on. We want to make sure it's all gonna fit. How far from the bottom? I think we're gonna go about right there. Okay, so you're probably two inches, inch and a half from the bottom. I'm a really bad estimator, so you know. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use our pen. To trace because it does do a better job tracing. Take my glasses off because I can't see up close with them on. That was a tape. We have a helper mm -hmm. today, Ed. Um, in the studio, when we paint, we often use a red pen because you can kind of see where you went. Um, I failed to bring a red pen upstairs, so I'm using a blue pen. Hey, do what you got. Use what you got. Right? Use what you got. Ta -da! Okay, we're gonna start with, I'm trying to think what I wanna do. We're gonna start with the heart. So we're gonna start with Red Blaze FS2391. I have a little crusty in the top. Are you really a ceramic artist if you don't have some crusty paint at the top of your bottle? No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Okay, we're gonna use, I'm using, if I can find it, my number six. I'm a real big fan of the number six round brush. Mm -hmm. It's just a good size. Those are the Crafter's Choice brushes. These are the Crafter's Choice brushes. I like those. From Gear, right? Yep. Okay, we're going to put three coats of Red Blaze, which is my favorite. I, I love Red Blaze so much. I feel like it's sort of a, um, like, retro red. Mm-hmm. It's not like, it's more candy apple than than um, rock and roll, which I think is more of a like Christmas red. It reminds me, it's like vintage. Mm -hmm. You know, though, it's like vintage Christmas. That's mm -hmm. what I like it with um, Tahiti Teal yes. and um, Key Lime Pie for Christmas colors. Mm -hmm. Me too. So my, my um, that trend has not reached the line of Kansas yet. I keep pushing it. <laughs> Someday. Someday when we grow up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. How many coats are you doing? I'm going to do three coats. Sounds like a good And idea. don't worry. Like, like right there, I got a little, I got a little crazy, but we're going to outline, so. Not a big whoop. It's no big whoop. Okay, so we're going to paint that hole. I always laugh when people get mad about their customers wasting paint because I think I'm the biggest paint waster. I think I waste way more paint than my customers do. Pretty sure. Okay, we're going to use Jumpin' Juniper for this hole and for the spout. Good idea. Okay, so FS2323. A lot of people know these numbers. I do not because we number ours on the top, like in the order that we have them in the paint counter. So this is 37 in my world. Okay, I'm gonna try to be more responsible with my paint pour. Really? No. And I'm gonna continue on with my round brush. Good idea. 
Okay, so inside of the... We're doing the inside of the watering can. The hole. Okay. The flower hole, if you will. Right. Um, with three coats. I'm going to try and get that end there. And I'm a big proponent of, like, move that plate around. Make it comfortable. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. All right, we're getting our third coat on the spickety spout situation. Of 30, oh no, not, that's not the right number. <laughs> this is um, Jumpin' Juniper. Yes. Are you proud that I remember that? Yeah, it's nice work. I Good just job. pulled that right out. It's FS something. Yeah, 23 something. Yeah, I think it's 2323. Oh, nice. Good in job. The year, isn't that a song? In the year 23? No. No. Mm -hmm. That's not the right year. 25, 25 movie. I don't know. I don't know. Could be anything. It is a song though, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Okay, that's our three. Nice. Okay. And don't worry, I managed to pour extra paint. Good job. So we're good to go there. Okay, next up, we're gonna paint the watering, the rest of the watering can, and we're going to use my very favorite color Tahiti Teal. What number is it? This, 36, um, FS2382. <laughs> It's a really good color. It is. Oh, it's my favorite. It didn't used to be my favorite. Um, key lime was always my favorite, but mm, Tahiti Teal. Tahiti Teal. I use it on everything. I'm sure my our customers are like, will you stop? Because <laughs> I have figured out how to incorporate it into every season and holiday. Yeah, you have. Except Halloween. Except Halloween. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so when I paint this part, mm -hmm. I'm going to paint this. Mm -hmm. Top of the can. First. Okay. And then I'm going to paint this. So and as separate pieces. As separate pieces. And the reason for that, I almost dipped my I almost dipped my finger in the wrong color. I almost dipped my brush in the wrong color. Um I'm gonna do that because it kind of the the difference in like you'll be able to see the differences in how you painted mm -hmm. because and it'll show you kind of where to outline. Also, I don't butt colors right up to each other very often, like not on purpose. Um, I kind of like to leave a little bit of space. You dipped that in the wrong I color. I did tip that in the wrong color. Well, that's going to be cute. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. I meant to do that. Blending. blending I wanted to blending. add I wanted to add a little shading to the top, <laughs> which they're, is a lie. They're pretty similar colors. They're pretty similar colors. Okay, so anyway, so I'm kind of leaving that space and that's just a that's just a design choice. You can do it however you want to, but um, but I kind of like to leave it. I like it. It gives you like a little, a little trough <laughs> to, to outline in. Yes. Okay. We're going to do three coats on all the parts of, I thought I, that was a cat hair. I thought I, my cat, you guys loves to roll on this plate. In fact, I kind of had to boot her off so that we could paint it. <laughs> it's an unintended um, cat toy. Yeah, I think Gare's missing the boat um, on with just selling bisque platters as cat scratchies because mm -hmm. my cat loves it. I'm going to bring her. In fact, I just said earlier, I'm going to bring her her own platter up to roll on. She's back. <laughs> I get her. Maybe. You guys, we're professionals. Um, <laughs> yeah. Real, real. You're getting real life at Julian Robbins painting class here. the body of the watering can. And again, keeping it separate from what you did. Yeah, I'm keeping it separate. Okay. And you're going to have to go around the heart. I'm sorry about that, but there's just no good. <laughs> it's part of life.
Okay. And you guys, make sure that you paint that top part first because we want it to get dry. Oh, that makes good um, So that we can. Okay, now we're gonna do this little doodle. There, toot toot, toot toot. Okay, next thing we're gonna do. What are we gonna do, Joel? It's gonna be very exciting. Well, next we're gonna use our other pattern, the, the one with the flowers on it. Okay. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors, a skizzes, as my art teacher called them, and we are gonna cut around this line right here. so we can line it up. Yeah. And then we're going to line it up. Okay. Do it very precise. I tried. Okay. I just let that fall on my paint. Okay. So. We're going to put that about right there. Oh. I have a helper. <laughs> I have a helper over here. Okay, do we feel like that looks pretty mm -hmm. straight? I think it does. Yeah. Okay, so now we're just gonna take our pen and we're gonna trace those lines. There we go. Yay. Flurs. Flurs, y'all. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the stems. Um, and I used Kermit um, 2341 and Lime Ricky 2303. And I just alternated them. So dark green, light green, dark green. Yeah, light so green. we're going to start with the 30. Maybe. Oh. At least when I did that, I made a big blob of it. There we go. Okay, what did I do with my. What did I do? There it is. I'm gonna use my same brush. I use this brush for almost everything. Okay, and we're just gonna throw those stems in. And you guys were just painting straight over the top of the watering can. But stop at the line. But yeah, stop. stop at the bottom part there. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your leaf. So you want to do the leaf the same color as the mask? Yeah, stem. yes, yes, yes. If the stem has a leaf, it's the same color. There we go, three coats of all the stems. Now we're gonna do flowers. Um, all of the tulips are um, tangy tangerine. So we'll do those first. What number is that? Tangy tangerine is twenty three ninety seven. I got three coats of the tulips. Now it is time for the other now it's, we're the gonna, dotty flowers. The dotty flowers. I didn't need another palette. Y'all, I've been doing this thing where <laughs> on projects, we usually try to not use like 700 colors. Lately, 700 colors. 
This one's not so bad. But I like my colors, man. Okay. We're going to do these dudes. This is Smiley Face, which is 2301. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then the... The last steps, we're going to outline, and then we've got some dots and some just decoration in the flowers to do. I think we're going to go ahead and outline using our um, Black Lab because the dots and stuff are going to take a while to dry, and you need to be able to lay your hand down to outline. So that's what we're going to do. So we're using 2314 yeah. Black Lab. Yeah, and, and I'm going to add, I'm going to take that brush that I was using and I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to our Black Lab, like a couple drops. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna mix it together really well. Black Lab is just an awesome consistency for, for um, so many things. For outlining, I like to just add just a little bit of water and you wanna make sure you get it stirred up really well. And I have started doing that with a different brush than I'm gonna use. Um, because if you dip this brush in water and you mix it up, what I have found out is you still have water up here and then you um, put it in your paint and then you put it on your plate and then it goes <sighs> diffuse. Um, the good thing about Black Lab too is that it's so highly pigmented oh, that watering, watering it down, down doesn't makes affect no difference. anything. Yeah. Okay. So it still stays nice and black. Yeah. It's, it's the best color. It's the best black in the whole wide world. Okay. So I'm going to load up. This is my long line. This is a 10 0 long liner brush. I love this one. Gare carries. This is from um, Royal Langnickel. Is that how you say that? Langnickel? I don't know. I don't know. It's the Moderna 10 liner. Yeah, Moderna 10 liner. Um, but Gare carries it. It's a great, great liner brush because it's not super long and it's pretty easy to control. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to start in the middle. We're going to we're gonna outline our heart. And you guys do not be super concerned about like being right up against your red like i like it a little bit crazy and so we're only gonna do one coat of yeah we're only doing one coat yeah yeah i was just touching up so mm -hmm. thank you for saying that yeah and you really want to rest that the yeah. like the meaty part of your hand on the plate while you yep. do it gives you some control and just keep turning and we teach our customers to outline with this brush. I think it's the easiest way to teach an adult to outline. I think teaching a kid to outline with a fun writer is actually easier. Yeah, because um, kids don't, kids, um, they don't squeeze super hard. Yeah, but with adults, um, I think a brush is, is they have, feel like they have more control, especially this brush. Um, and really the big trick is getting your hand down on your plate so that you can rest it there and remembering that lifting the brush off the plate is your brakes. So if you're feeling out of control, just lift your brush up yeah. and, and you get a, you get a do-over. And you just pull as far as it feels good and, and then you stop. And adding that little drop of water really makes that go further. Yeah, and then you can kind of line it back up. the dots to our watering can spout. Mm -hmm. um, I, you can use all kinds of different things. Dowel rods work this for whatever size you want. Um, I'm using, we found Laddie pencils. Do you guys remember Laddie pencils from kindergarten? Ticonderoga still makes them and they're just a little bit bigger. And so that's what we're going to use for our dots. For the eraser part. For the, yeah, the eraser part. Okay, so we're going to do one in the middle. We're dipping each time. And then we're gonna do the ones around the outside. Two. There's no prescribed amount of these. However many you want is the right number, or wherever it comes out to. 
can wash off my pencil eraser. Okay. Next up, we have some little lines. I put some little lines on the handle and um, the handle was Tahiti Teal. And so we're gonna use Jumpin' Juniper, which is just the one shade darker. Um, and we're gonna use our line liner brush. And we're gonna load it up pretty good because we only wanna do one coat of these, like with a little, you know, the ball. And then we're just gonna do one coat of these little lines on the handle, just as a fun detail. And you're not even going all the way to the edge. No, I'm not going all the way to the edge. And they're not perfectly spaced and they're not the same width and that's okay. And sometimes they're crooked on purpose. It's just to add a little something, something. Okay, so there's those. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up. We're gonna use a spouncer. That's a sponge on a stick. Sponge on a work. stick. I don't, how big is this one? I think it's a three quarter. Inch. Three quarter inch, mm. probably. I'll measure it. Okay. But we're gonna put that in our, um, in our red blaze. And we're gonna add a red dot in the middle of our circle dot flowers. I'm gonna put a little more in here. Do I measure it? Yeah. Robin's measuring. Hold. Hold, please. Three quarter inch. Three That's quarter right. inch. If you want it to be smaller, you can make it smaller. Or you can make it bigger. Whichever. Whatever you want to do. So we're just going to get one of those on there. And then we're going to go back with a paintbrush and do two more coats. Because then it's more solid. Yeah. Because we want it to be solid. Well, I want it to be solid. If you don't, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. We're going to let those. Maybe we'll let those dry for just a second. Okay, we're calling that good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next we're gonna take, we're gonna go back to our long liner brush and we're gonna add um, some lines with our tangy tangerine, kind of like we did on our handle. And you can do as many or as few as you want to, but we're just gonna use that pretty thick. I did do tangy tangerine yeah. on those, right? I thought so. You did. And you're gonna do them pretty thick because you only wanna do this once. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do, well, no. We're, you're still gonna paint the, the sides in the back, but I'm probably not gonna make you sit here and watch me do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know what that looks yeah. like. Okay, so now we're gonna use Orange Crush um, 2390 and our long liner brush, but we're gonna use the handle end, okay? And we are gonna just add some dots in our tulips. There, you guys, that's it. So the last step I, that we that we're, we'll all do is I'm gonna just paint the edges in the back and I, it's done. Ready for clear Kaput. Face. Don't forget to put your name on it. Very important. Yes. Enjoy, friends. You guys, thanks for hanging out with us. See you soon. <laughs>